Hey, so it's Miss Cool saying what's up. I'm uh, making some um, hummingbird feed, okay? So I thought, you know, the genius that I am, not, nah, yeah, I'm a, I got a little edge once in a while. I used a hibiscus tea bag to get the red that it's going to attract them. And I'm boiling that with some sugar I had in the house. And I'm going to fill up my... Uh, container here after it cools off and it's going to be really good and I'm going to attract a lot of uh, hummingbirds I'm hoping so it's boiling and uh, I'm just making some hummingbird um, nectar so I'm thinking hibiscus right because I figure if I'm going to drink tea I'm going to drink the good stuff so I'm drinking stash and the stash tea that I have folks is um I'm going to fill all this up because I had kind of like, not to put Walmart down, but if you're going to drink some tea, you might as well drink some good stuff. So I've got, like I said, the hibiscus here with the wild raspberry. Hibiscus is a flower. Why wouldn't a bird be attracted to that, I'm thinking? All right, then. So it's Pamela saying, have a great day and uh, got this hummingbird food kind of cook in the nectar. And I'll get back with you to see what's up. Speaking of birds, I got this at the carnival. We had these when we were children, but they were like plastic, and you fill them up like that. They're pretty cool. Check it out. This one's for you, Abby. She likes to play this all the time when she comes to Grandma's house. Let me dump some of that out. Pretty cool, huh? Whoever invented this. So right on. Bye now. It's made out of clay. And I like it because I've been protecting it because I don't want it to break. So that's probably a boy bird. That's probably a girl. Babies. Bye now. Later.